Okay. The second type of equipment is the site assess equipment. Okay, at which <coughs> is the file equipment that will store the record vertically with the assess from the site. Meaning here, record itu akan disusun mengikut susunan menegak. Okay, menegak dan kita akan assess melalui <coughs> sisi daripada kiri ke kanan ataupun kanan ke kiri berbanding dengan top assess equipment. Kalau top assess equipment maksudnya kita akan buka drawer and then kita akan assess daripada atas. So, usually for the site assess, site assess equipment adalah equipment yang diguna pakai seperti di library. Right? <coughs> kita ada shelf, file. Okay? Or if the question asks you the other name for a site assess equipment is a shelf, file. Alright, and this shelf valve is actually consisting the horizontal open shelf which is similar to open book shelf. Okay, consisting horizontal open shelf maksud ya, dia ada uh, uh, so-called uh, horizontal melintang. Okay, setiap draw, uh, shelf tersebut dia akan ada baris melintang. Okay, and which the record will be keep vertically menegak tetapi dia akan dalam kedudukan melintang right and the folders are being placed upright on the shelf in a side by side arrangement and assessed from the side like i mentioned previously they've been put on the vertical berdiri dan daripada kedudukan sisi sama ada sisi kiri ke kanan ataupun kanan ke kiri all right and the next one, the sliding wire or the metal support keep the folder upright. Okay. Somehow when you go to the library, okay, in certain certain horizontal open shelf, dekat baris tersebut, okay, dia akan ada tak cukup uh, buku, which is buku dia ada sedikit sahaja. Uh, so what they will do, they will put the metal, okay, the holding metal at the, uh, at the back. Okay, so that buku tu tak terjatuh. Okay, that is specifically for those uh, horizontal uh, shelf yang uh, tidak memenuhi untuk satu baris. Alright? Why? Because you want to make sure that folder or that record are being put in the upright position. Okay? So, this is the example on the slide. Okay, as you can see there, there are a lot of uh, types. Okay? Uh, for the site assess equipment or we know it, we call it as a shelf file all right it's depending on the organizations okay whether they want to use the uh, top assess equipment or site assess equipment okay here this also another examples uh, this is <coughs> the reality in uh, we call this one is actually uh, in the hospital all right as you can see there, the record or the folder itself is not in the upright uh, positions. It's slightly uh, to the right, okay, because they don't put in the in this uh, positioning uh, with the support of the metal, okay, the support metal at the back, right? So here, let's we have a look on the advantages and also the disadvantages of the site assess equipment. Right, so here the advantages is actually it's required the less L space. L space maksudnya lorong. Okay, kalau you lihat pada uh, gambar rajah di sini, okay, kalau kita ada or uh, this kind of shelf ataupun side access uh, equipment, kita mempunyai kita memerlukan ruang yang sedikit. Okay, less L space in between daripada satu one uh, shelf to another shelf. Okay, somehow. Uh, in a certain situations, if they have more than one staff who want to assess the record, they boleh masuk walaupun ruangan tersebut, ruangan lorong tu adalah kecil. So, kebaikan dia lah. Okay, if you use the drawer, you cannot have uh, the face-to-face -face punya drawer. Why? Because you need to have an extra space. Sebab apa bila this one, bila sebelah kanan buka drawer, sebelah kiri buka drawer, tak, tak ada ruang untuk kita berdiri. Kita akan berdiri di sebelah sisi. Right, itu maksud dia. Okay, the second one, when you use the site assess equipment, 
it says that you can save uh, the wall space. Alright? With the floor, with the floor to sleep. Sebab apa? Bila kita sebut uh, uh, shelf ataupun kita sebut uh, side access equipment selalunya dia akan lebih daripada 3 tier. Okay, berbanding dengan drawer. Drawer selalunya 3 tier, 4 tier. Okay, uh, kita akan draw tu, kita ada drawer tu ada 4 tier, 4 tingkat. 3 atau 4 tingkat. Tetapi kalau kita guna side access equipment, dia akan menjimatkan penggunaan dinding. Instead of kita ada uh, menggunakan separa dinding, kita boleh guna the full utilize of dinding dengan adanya side access equipment. Sebab apa? Side access equipment ni, uh, open shelf selalunya dia akan bertingkat naik atas. Okay, and uh, the staff will be equipped with the uh, bangku ataupun there will be the ladder untuk panjat untuk dapatkan uh, yang uh, record di atas. Okay, so it will maximize the use of the wall space as compared to the uh, drawer. Okay, sebab kalau top access uh, equipment, kita tak boleh ada yang top access equipment yang tinggi. Sebab apa? Dia punya access daripada atas. You imagine, kalau dia tinggi, lima tingkat, you nak tengok daripada atas tu, you kena, benda tu tak convenient. Alright? So, the next one, okay, uh, most of the side access equipment is actually heavily open and the side access. Maksudnya, daripada jauh, kita dah boleh nampak dah. Alright, kita dah boleh nampak dan kita tak perlu tarik drawer, tarik untuk lihat. Tapi kita dah jauh, kita dah nampak on the susunan on which a record that we want to uh, retrieve. Right? The next one, okay, this is the examples of uh, the else, ruangan di antara draw, uh, that what we call a shelf file. Okay, this is a shelf file here, they have a shelf file here. So, this is a space Given, okay, you can have the arrangement of white L's, narrow L's, and also very narrow L's, depending on your, uh, what we call the space in your company, right? And somehow there will be the motorized uh, shelf file, which is you akan ada satu apa, what we call putaran uh, railway untuk menggerakkan that particular. Uh, shelf up. Alright, afterward I will show you the video on it. Alright. And however, the site access equipment, there is a disadvantage as well. Alright, as you can see on this uh, on the screen itself. Alright, even though it can be assessed by two persons in one situations. Okay, but somehow when the single document are retrieved from the folder, the shelf filing is inefficient. Okay, and efficiency meaning that somehow, bila you tarik satu, uh, especially in the library lah, bila you tarik satu file, file lah akan terjatuh. Nah, itu maksudnya inefficient. That's why, uh, they've been equipped with the metal support at the back. So, whenever you uh, you retrieve that file, you will put it, uh, the support at the back so that dia tak terjatuh. But it's require the energy for you untuk tolak. Alright? And the next one, the entire folder must remove to retrieve single document. If let's say kedudukan dia rapat, okay, the file rapat dan kedudukan rapat, what you should do, you akan perlu uh, remove a bit for you to take out or for you to retrieve for that particular record. So here essentially is the pen. Alright, that's why as you can see here, untuk hospital, they don't have a metal support at the back. But they, they just have, uh, is, as you can see there, okay, untuk, or, untuk dia punya shelf file dia, dia ada separator. So, each separator sebenarnya dia dah estimate. Okay, untuk that separator, uh, muat untuk 20 file. So, the next one will be the next separator. Okay, here. Okay, separator. Right? You nampak tak? On the screen is a separator. Right? So, the other disadvantages have been highlighted by the authors here. Okay, the maximize of the storage space when it not fully used. Okay, meaning here. Okay, even is the the, the the advantages just now. Okay, in the previous slide saying that we can use fully utilize the space of the wall. But if let's like, say you dah fully utilize rak lu tinggi tapi rak tu kosong. Okay, 
Okay, itu maksud dia. Maksud dia kalau you tak fully utilize for that particular storage, it end up uh, with the wastage. Right? And this is another examples. Okay, on the site assess equipment. Right? And this is another examples. This is site equipment at which they are equipped with the sliding okay the the what we call the protector okay uh, somehow okay the shaft valve is been equipped with this kind of uh, protection because to secure the content okay for the drawer we can easily to lock they have a lock okay but here for the open shaft or open file somehow they are not having that kind of measure uh, protection protector so uh, with that limitations okay the manufacturer okay they come up with this design at which they come with the, that kind of the um the uh, that kind of the sliding right to have them uh, so called to protect the content or the uh, folder in that particular shaft file. 